In this video, we look at entry level Swiss made watches. And just before we jump into this, I'm gonna be cutting it off at $1,000. I know that's expensive to be classifying this as entry level, but for Swiss made watches, that's just the reality of it. If you guys want me to continue this series, give it a thumbs up, this video. And first up, we have the Swatch System 51 Irony. So this watch comes in with a price point of $150, case of 42 millimeters, powered by a System 51 movement, and then is water resistant up to 30 meters. The first System 51 was introduced at Basel World in 2013. And now when you think of Swatch, I, these are some of the first watches that come to mind. But the cool thing about the Irony line is that they're made with steel cases compared to what most people think of for Swatch with the rubber case designs. So really interesting watch to take a look at if you are looking at uh, an affordable Swiss watch. Next we have the Tissot Everytime Swissmatic. This watch comes in with a price point between $200 and $350, case size of 40 millimeters, powered by an automatic C15.111 movement and are water resistant up to 30 meters. And when I was making this video doing some research, I, I mentioned this watch several times in my past videos, but I saw one on Tissot's website for $200, the one with the NATO strap white dial. So if you are interested and you have the chance to go ahead and jump at this deal, I would definitely do it. Now for our next watch, we have the Glycine Combat 6 Vintage. So when looking at Glycine, of course, you can look at the Airman, you can look at the Combat Sub as well. But after being acquired by Invicta, I feel a lot of the designs with the Airman and the Combat Sub have not been as intriguing as they once were. So what I wanted to look at here was relatively the more affordable option, I think more of a vintage aesthetic option with their Combat 6. So this watch comes in with a $350 to $500 price point, case size of 43 millimeters, powered by an ETA 2824, and then are water resistant up to 50 meters. Now we have the Hamilton Khaki Field Mechanical. So amongst all of the Khaki Field line, a line that is rather expansive, this is the one that sticks out the most for me. So this watch comes in with a $350 to $450 price point, case size of 38 millimeters, powered by a manual ETA 28012, and are water resistant up to 50 meters. And I promise you not to try to spoil anything, Hamilton will definitely be on the list a little bit later. Now we have the Tissot Visordate. So now this is a watch that I have owned in the past and it's one that I usually recommend to a lot of enthusiasts that are looking for a vintage inspired dress watch for under $500. And for these watches, they come in between $350 to $500. You have multiple dial variations. You have a silver and a black dial variation option. I went with a black dial when I owned one of these watches. Case size of 40 millimeters, automatically powered by an ETA caliber 28362, and then are water resistant up to 30 meters. And as promised, we're gonna be looking at Hamilton again. And the watch is the Hamilton Jazzmaster Thinline Automatic. So these watches come in with a price point of $500 to $1,000, case size of 40 millimeters, powered by an automatic ETA caliber 2892A2, and are water resistant up to 50 meters. So the Jazzmaster line is another line from Hamilton that you can get lost in. However, this is my favorite, clean design, multiple dial color variations, and I think good value for money. And speaking of value for money, I want to mention a Certina watch one brand that I think is very overlooked. And the Certino watch that we're gonna be looking at is the DS Action Diver Powermatic 80. This watch comes in with a price point of $500 to $900, case size of 43 millimeters, powered by a Powermatic 80 movement, water resistant up to 300 meters as well. So Certina is a brand that I have mentioned in several videos in the past. In fact, in my series of looking at underrated watch brands, if you've not seen that video, I will definitely link to it down below. These watches have an ISO 6425 standard, so they're certified diver and have an 80 hour power reserve. I think you're getting a lot of watch for the money here and Certina again, just really good value for money. So guys, what do you think of the choices so far? If you like this video, you want me to continue this series. I definitely have some more watches to mention here, but give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe if you're new here, and also hit the bell icon. Now we have the Hamilton Intramatic. So this is a watch, again, I think falls right in line with the Jazzmaster of being a really sleek looking piece. So these watches come in between $500 and $900, case size of 38 millimeters, powered by an automatic ETA caliber 2892, and then are water resistant up to 50 meters. All right, for this next watch, it's from a brand that maybe you don't think about in terms of watches, but one with Swiss roots and are starting to get more into the mechanical watch realm. 
and the brand is Victurnox. And we're gonna be looking at the Inox Mechanical. So these watches were just recently released uh, and mechanical watches are a newer thing for Victurnox. But if you know anything about their knives and other just products that they offer is that they are really built to last. So these watches are coming in between $500 and $800. Case size of 43 millimeters, powered by an automatic ETA 28242, and then are water resistant up to 200 meters. When constructing this list, I realized how many overlooked Swiss brands there are, and we have another one here, Alpina. And our watch is the Alpina Alpiner 4. So these watches have a retail price that definitely fluctuates a good amount. They're $1,200 to start, but you can certainly find them for under $8,000. Case size of 44 millimeters here. Movement is a caliber AL525, a Salita based movement. And these watches have 100 meters of water resistance. Alpina falls under the Citizen Watch umbrella, but it's based in Switzerland and has a great history that goes back to 1883. And again, just a very overlooked brand, I think falls in line with Certina, with producing a lot of great watches. Uh, but maybe don't come to mind as much as other brands that you might think of. And now we have a brand that I always love giving mention to, Mito. And we're gonna be looking first at the Mito Ocean Star. So these watches come in with a price point of $700 to $1,000, case size of 42.5 millimeters, powered by a Mito caliber 80 movement, and that's an ETA based movement, and then are water resistant up to 200 meters. And for the next Mito watch, we have the Mito Barncelli Heritage. So these are some of the best looking dress watches I think you can find on the market. Uh, under $1,000. In terms of the watch's specific price, we're looking at between $600 to $1,000, depending on the version you go for. Case size of 39 millimeters, powered by a Mito caliber 1192, and then are water resistant up to 30 meters. They have an ETA's base movement, but if you're looking at Mito in general, in the last decade, the top four brands that officially created the most certified chronometers, Swiss chronometers, were one, Rolex, two, Omega, three, Breitling, and four, Mito. Now for our last watch, we have a brand that falls under the Citizen umbrella, Frederick Constant. And the watch from Frederick Constant we're gonna be looking at is the Classics Index. So this watch comes in with a price point of $600 to $1,000, case size of 40 millimeters, powered by an automatic FC303 movement. This is a Salita based movement and are water resistant up to 50 meters. All right guys, so that's where I'm gonna be cutting it off in this video. Brands like Oris, Longines, I felt like they were better suited for a higher price point for just the overall offering of their watches. But if you can't find any of their watches in this price range, of course, I think they're great buys. But what other watches did I miss? I'd love to see them mentioned in the comments down below. And if you want me to continue this series, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell icon. On top of that, go follow me on Instagram, fill out the watch form for the giveaway down below. We just announced the winner of the SNK803 in uh, last week. So if you have not followed me on Instagram already to see the announcements, be sure to go over there and do so. And finally, if you wanna support this new generation of watch lovers, go to our Patreon. Any support there would be greatly appreciated. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.